Welcome to another episode of Did You Know? Today we journey back in time, riding the winds of history to the heart of ancient Egypt. As the golden sands shift beneath our feet, we find ourselves by the majestic Nile, a river that has witnessed the rise and fall of pharaohs, the secrets of mummies, and the tales of gods that once ruled the hearts and minds of a civilization. Let's embark on this mystical voyage as we unravel the mysteries of the Egyptian pantheon. Chapter 1. Sunrise on the Nile, an introduction to Egyptian deities. The first rays of dawn pierce the horizon, casting a radiant glow over the mighty Nile. This life-giving river, flowing with tales as old as time, has been the backbone of Egypt's story, a silent spectator to its ever-evolving narrative. In its shimmering reflection, we see silhouettes of the great pyramids and towering obelisks, each an ode to the gods and goddesses they revered. As the sun ascends, embraced by Ra's warm embrace, we are introduced to the intricate tapestry of Egyptian deities. From Anubis, the jackal-headed god of mummification, to Hathor, the cow goddess of music and dance, each divinity held a unique realm. They symbolize the mysteries of nature, the cyclical dance of life and death, and the eternal hopes and fears of the people. Isis, with her outstretched wings, personified the ideals of motherhood and protection. In contrast, the chaos serpent Apep lurked in the shadows, a representation of the unknown and the adversities the sun had to combat every night. As the stories unfold, it becomes evident that these gods and goddesses were not mere figments of imagination. They were the lifeblood of a culture, shaping their morals, traditions, and even their daily life. This celestial dance between humanity and divinity, under the watchful eyes of the Sphinx, sets the stage for tales of power, love, treachery, and redemption. And as the sun completes its journey across the sky, setting the desert ablaze with hues of gold and crimson, we find ourselves enchanted, eager to delve deeper into the legends that have survived the sands of time. Chapter 2. The Divine Dynasty, Power Plays and Hierarchies The Golden Land of Egypt, with its shimmering oases and vast deserts, was more than just a testament to nature's wonders. It was a realm where gods walked, sometimes hand in hand with mortals, often treading paths of power and intrigue that would rival any earthly court's dynamics. Central to this celestial narrative was the sun god Ra, often depicted with a falcon's head crowned by a sun disk. Ra's journey across the sky was not just a daily occurrence, but a symbol of the constant struggle between order and chaos. Every sunset marked his descent into the underworld, where he battled forces of darkness, only to rise again, triumphant, heralding a new day. But Ra's dominion wasn't uncontested. Osiris, the god of the afterlife and resurrection, ruled the land of the dead. His own tale is one of treachery, as his brother Set, the god of chaos, betrayed and murdered him. However, through the sheer determination of his wife Isis, Osiris was resurrected, and in their son, Horus, the sky god, the cycle of revenge and redemption continued. Horus, with his fierce falcon eyes, waged a war against Set, ultimately reclaiming his father's throne. Amid these tales of power plays, one can't forget the goddess Mahat, the embodiment of truth, balance, and order. With her ostrich feather, she weighed the hearts of the deceased against her symbol, deciding their fate in the afterlife. It was her principles that even the mightiest gods revered, understanding that balance was key to the world's harmony. And so, amidst shimmering temples and moonlit rituals, the stories of the Egyptian gods unfolded. It was a dance of power, hierarchy, and relationships, where alliances were forged and feuds spanned millennia. Each deity, in their own right, played a pivotal role in the great cosmic drama that shaped the beliefs, hopes, and fears of an entire civilization. Chapter 3. Mortal Encounters – God's Interactions with the Living Ancient Egypt wasn't just a land of pyramids and pharaohs, it was a canvas where the stories of gods and mortals interwove in a vibrant tapestry of myth and reality. The gods, in their boundless might and wisdom, did not merely reside in celestial realms, they also frequently ventured among the living, bestowing their favours, meeting out justice, or simply playing their part in the ever-evolving story of humanity. Imagine a world where a simple farmer, tilling the fertile soil by the Nile, could be visited by Happy, the god of the river's inundation. With a benign smile, Happy might bless the farmer's lands with just the right amount of floodwaters, ensuring a bountiful harvest. In gratitude, the farmer would offer up a simple prayer, reinforcing the age-old bond between the deity and the mortal. 
On a grander scale, pharaohs believed to be divine, incarnates themselves, often experienced direct interventions from the gods. Ramesses II, one of ancient Egypt's most legendary rulers, famously claimed the god Horus guided his hand in battle, turning the tides of war in his favor. In sprawling temple complexes, pharaohs would commission intricate carvings showcasing these divine encounters, a testament to their divine right to rule and the gods' favor upon them. Yet, it wasn't just blessings and guidance that the gods offered. Anubis, the jackal-headed god of mummification, held a solemn vigil over the deceased, ensuring their safe passage to the afterlife. Meanwhile, Thoth, the ibis-headed god of wisdom, often intervened in disputes, offering sage advice and mediating between gods and mortals with his vast knowledge. But these divine interactions also came with a price. Gods expected devotion, respect, and offerings. Failing to appease them could lead to wrath and misfortune. It was a delicate balance that every Egyptian, from the mightiest pharaoh to the humblest peasant, was keenly aware of. As our journey continues, we'll witness more than just tales. We'll see a reflection of the ancient Egyptian soul, a deep-seated belief that their lives, dreams and aspirations were intrinsically linked with the whims and wishes of their deities. Chapter 4. Journey to the Afterlife. Role of Gods in Death and Beyond. Death in ancient Egypt was not an end but a transformative journey, a gateway to eternity. The Egyptians held an unwavering belief in the afterlife, and their pantheon of gods played pivotal roles in ensuring the safe transition of souls from the mortal realm to the divine. Embark with us on the soul's journey to the Field of Reeds, a paradise akin to heaven, where souls hope to dwell in peace and abundance. The first guardian encountered on this voyage is none other than Anubis. With the head of a jackal and a gaze that pierces the soul, Anubis stands in judgment. It is he who conducts the ceremony of the weighing of the heart, a momentous occasion where a person's heart is balanced against the feather of Mayat, the goddess of truth and justice. If found lighter or equal to the feather, the soul was deemed pure, deserving a place in the eternal paradise. But if the heart was heavy with sins, it was devoured by Amit, a fearsome creature with the head of a crocodile, the front of a lion, and the back of a hippopotamus. But Anubis wasn't the sole guardian of the dead. Osiris, the green-skinned god of resurrection and rebirth, reigned over the underworld. Stories abound of his resurrection from death by his devoted wife, Isis, after being betrayed by his envious brother, Set. This tale of love, betrayal, and renewal formed the very core of Egyptian beliefs surrounding death and resurrection. Isis, with her vast magical powers, also played a crucial role in the afterlife narrative. As the protective mother and wife, she embodied the ideals of familial love, guarding the souls of the deceased and ensuring their safety in the hereafter. Beyond these key players, the deceased would encounter a myriad of other gods and challenges in their voyage. Each step was designed to test their virtues, resilience and worthiness. Death for the ancient Egyptians was a grand, sacred journey where gods intervened, guided, judged and embraced souls. The intricate rituals, the Book of the Dead, the richly adorned coffins and the grand pyramids all stood testament to a civilization's unparalleled reverence for the afterlife. Chapter 5. Echoes in Sand. Legacy of Egyptian Gods Today. The Egyptian pantheon, with its myriad tales of divine power, love, betrayal and rebirth, has left an indelible mark on humanity's collective psyche. Millennia have passed since the last temple rites were performed in honor of Ra, Osiris or Isis, but the resonance of these deities continues to reverberate through the annals of modern culture. The silver screen has been an especially potent medium, allowing for tales of Egyptian gods to be reimagined and retold. Hollywood blockbusters often portray the likes of Cleopatra, the last pharaoh, with her links to the divine, or action-packed stories of mummies revived from their eternal slumber, hinting at the ancient rites that bound souls to the afterlife. Beyond cinema, the gods have been immortalized in literature. Their stories serve as rich metaphors and backdrops, whether in historical epics, romance novels, or even science fiction. Many have been mesmerized by retellings that merge historical fact with fictional flair, such as Rick Riordan's The Kane Chronicles, which breathes new life into old myths, introducing them to younger generations. Fashion, too, has found inspiration in the golden deserts and majestic pyramids. Walk down any high fashion runway, and you might see a modern-day interpretation of the headdress of Hathor or the wings of Isis, designs influenced by hieroglyphs and papyrus scrolls. But perhaps the most enduring legacy of the Egyptian gods lies in the realm of spirituality and alternative beliefs. Modern pagans, neo-Druids, and other spiritual seekers have adopted and adapted many of the practices and beliefs of ancient Egypt, 
temples might have crumbled, but in the quiet sanctuaries of hearts worldwide, these gods find reverence and adoration. As our voyage along the Nile concludes, we are left with a profound realization. The deities of ancient Egypt, with their tales of grandeur and gravitas, were not just a fleeting chapter in the annals of history. They are an eternal narrative, constantly being rewritten, reshaped and revived as they continue to inspire, intrigue and illuminate. As the sun sets over the horizon, casting long shadows over the sands, we wonder what other tales lie buried, waiting to be discovered. The journey of exploration is never truly over, but for now our tale of the Egyptian pantheon draws to a close. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video if you found it helpful, and switch on notifications to ensure you never miss an update. If there's a topic you're keen to explore, share it in the comments below. Stay tuned for our next episode. Until then, keep exploring.